What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five month 22 halfbacks. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Bottom line is this. All of these running backs uniquely are pretty good. So I can mix and match any one of the running backs I'm going to show you right now. But this is the top five, and a lot of you guys want to discuss it. Obviously, there's sleepers that's going to be out there. Um, many cars that are like gold are going to be suitable with speed and things like that. But objectively, what's going to happen is there's going to be moneymaker aspects to the game. For instance, we already saw, it was already revealed to us that the superstar Saquon Barkley is going to be available at launch. So this 84 early on will probably go for a decent amount of coins, even if you don't want to use them. So just keep in mind, we already know that he has an 89. So if you're going power up crazy, he might be the best card for you. Just keep in mind, if you're on the current gen, it's going to play different than obviously next gen. I told you guys this before. As we go up on the list, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Nick Chubb and Derrick Henry, you're going to see a lot more people playing with those cards than you have in the past. And the reason being, next gen, the weight and the size of the players are going to get you that, you know, that fall forward, that crazy, stupid animation where guys are just falling all over the place. I Look, this is what it is. Some of you guys are going to complain regardless, but Derrick Henry, to me, I appreciate the cheese that he gets because he's so big in real life. And it's like, dude, you don't even know if he's 6'3 or 6'5. Like, real talk, you just look at him like, yo, this dude is way too big. And you, if you stood him next to Calvin Johnson, who's an all-natural 6'5", he would look like he's bigger. Like, Derrick Henry's a freak of nature. But this is the situation with Saquon. His numbers are going to be suitable enough to where he can also truck. Like, the 75, whatever, but his break, tackle, and change of direction, he could catch the ball out the backfield. He may be a monster. So there's a lot of different things that you got to look at when you look at your overall team and what you're going to be building, especially if you're going theme team aspect. Now, this guy has always been a stud for the last couple years. Uh, I told you guys before in a previous video, in Madden 21 at launch, I had him as my starting running back. He was one of the better cards. Will he be that guy that people go after, you know, at launch? I, I really don't know. I really can't confidently tell you that I will be going after Dalvin Cook. Like, I'm not going to say that because I don't believe that that's something that I'm like, yo, bro, I, yo, I got to grab him. He's not that guy. I would say Saquon before Dalvin. Like, and, and you know, Saquon's number five, obviously, because of his injury uh, last season. He needed to play a full season. But I would probably say Saquon is the safest bet between five and four. And I'm not hating on the Vikings and all this stuff, all you Viking fans coming out. I, it, it's not what I'm doing. What I'm saying is I'm trying to give you guys the best chance to win. And Saquon, EA will cheat for more than Dalvin Cook. Cause like when I was using him at the beginning of Madden 21, I was only using him cause he was a good budget card. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, yo, I really love me some Dalvin Cook. Now fantasy football wise, the dude's a monster. Fantasy football you know, wise, but in Madden, he might not be that guy that everybody is going crazy about. Just so that everybody's aware of that, I don't think that it's something that we're going to be able to all agree that we would go after Dalvin Cook. I think most of us, even if you're a Vikings fan, when it comes to Madden, you would probably want to start your year off with Saquon just to be safe, bro. Just so you know, like, look, he's going to truck a dude. He might stiff arm somebody crazy. He might break random tackles. You probably will not get that type of love with Dalvin Cook. That's just my gut feeling. But again, I leave it open for you guys. I want your feedback because when we start experimenting with these cards, it's going to be very interesting to see which ones last. Because already you guys are predicting, like, yo, Jemaya, you're probably going to go Derrick Henry and just, just leave it at that. But remember, Derrick Henry is going to be going for, like, 500K at launch. Just keep that in mind. We've now jumped the Nick Chubb in my pants. Now, let me tell you this right now. Those of you that were riding with me at the beginning of Madden 21 on current gen, you would know I rage sold this guy. I pulled him early in a very, very lucky pack, and the dude was garbage. That is not going to be the case on the next gen consoles. I may run around with Nick Chubb in my pants. He might be my secondary back to King Henry because on next gen, he's a beast right now on Madden 21. So I already know he's gonna be a problem 22. So it's gonna be a little bit more different because he's not that kind of back where you throw it out the backfield to him or whatever. He's the kind of guy Hand it off to him on a power O out of I-type. Let him get one block. He's going to truck two dudes and stiff arm another two dudes. And I, wanted, I want you guys to keep in mind, right? On current gen right now, they nerfed armbar. On next gen, they haven't done anything to it. Now, what might happen 
is that the uh you know like the the seat what is it the um the pro players or whatever the mcs they may complain about the way that the guy is breaking tackles and stiff arming and stuff like that and the game may be tuned but i think ea is going to be a little bit more careful because right now because we're on next gen and it's like a whole new uh, atmosphere and it's a whole new audience that's going to be playing it and we're going to get new players that are going to be coming out I don't know if they're going to be quick to just take that away. So the power backs may be one of the glitchiest cards available at launch. So in the past, he was garbage, right? Current gen, next gen, totally different. And remember, keep in mind, guys, the reason I'm saying that, I have different viewers that some of you guys are going to stay on current gen. Some of you guys are going to be on the PS5, Xbox X. So I want you guys to understand it's going to play differently because next gen is night and day right now. And trust me when I tell you, He's going to be valuable because he's like a poor man's Derrick Henry, bro, in, in next gen. Just please understand that. And I'm going to keep going on with that. We're probably going to test them out uh, come Madden 22's launch. Now, we jump into Christian McCaffrey. A high OVR, but is he going to be worth it at launch? Powered up to an 86. Is that something that you're going to want? Let me just go ahead and make sure you guys understand this. You can throw the ball to the flat every play to running backs that can't catch, and in most cases, they'll catch it. A guy like Derrick Henry might catch it in air truck. But the thing about these type of cards, like Christian McCaffrey, Saquon with decent catching, they're going to always usually catch the ball. And I believe he's a receiving back. So he's going to be more inclined to make sure he makes that catch than other players that you throw it to. And if EA doubles down and they go crazy on the fact that, all right, he's not a receiving back, we're not going to always make him catch it because they've done that in the past where we would throw a quick pass to the flat and the running back had no catch and he would just drop it. If they bring that back, he may be useful if that's your type of offense. I don't really throw the ball to my running back a lot. I don't do it. I probably maybe do it once like for an entire day when I stream. So I don't really care for that. I just need him to be able to run the ball solidly when I want to run the ball. Anything else that happens, I don't care about. You see, that, that's my mindset. When you guys watch me play 22, you'll be like, yo, he wasn't lying. He changed his whole scheme. My whole scheme has changed up, bro. I am playing like a pro player. Rollout crossers, delay fades, and all kinds of craziness. Hitch routes, it's gonna be nasty. So would it make sense for me to have a running back like this where I'm not gonna usually throw to the halfback? No. But if that's part of your offense, you run a spread, you know, every now and again, you put out a table route, you do stuff like that, he might be your guy. But I still believe that the number one running back, which we're about to see right now, he's going to be the best running back in the game at launch just because he does what running backs do. He runs the ball efficiently, and he's always going to fall forward for, uh, for positive yardage. And that's very important. But again, do what, do what makes you happy in the game. Finally, the number one. So we went from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We went from Saquon at 5, Dalvin Cook at 4, 3 was who? Nick Chubb in my pants. Two, CMC, finally number one, Derrick Henry. This is well-deserved. EA Sports did not get this wrong. My only issue with this situation is he should probably be a 90 overall. That's all, like, I, I know that we want to go through the whole year. We want to make it upgradable, but he's that good. He drove that Titans offense to, to depths and leaps and bounds and whatever other kind of thing you want to talk about. He took them where, like over where they're supposed to be. And now with Julio Jones and AJ Brown, GG's in the chat. It's gonna be, yo, Titans gonna be dangerous. But this guy right here is gonna be the best running back in the game. And when he starts getting upgrades based on the season, I'm telling you right now, unless EA nerfs him, he is hell to play against. He's just not a guy you wanna see. And just like in real life, I don't think those corners and those safeties wanna see this guy. Bro, he running down the field. Nobody's gonna wanna see this guy. So he's gonna be very, very expensive. And if you can't grab him, I would go with the poor man's version of Nick Chubb in my pants. And then we'll look at some of the elusive backs later, uh, some of the budget running backs. But he's going to be the best running back on next gen. When you, if you, if you guys remain on current gen gameplay, you won't have to worry about this. But next gen guys know what I'm talking about. The heavier running backs right now with Madden 21 next gen is dominating the game. So he by far will be the best player available. If you pull him, do not sell him for less than 500k, because that's what I believe will be his minimum value. It might be more because he's a cheat. He's a cheat code. You'll come out and run strong wing all game and just do whatever you want with this guy at launch. Trust me when I tell you, because EA is going to put out a patch early, but we don't know what they're going to patch, but it's a regular thing. Those are the top five Mutt 22 running backs. Let me know if you have any other questions. Leave it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. One love, y'all.